That's a big one. That's a big tiger. Time to move. <laughs> I think it's time to move. The tiger's big enough to eat this boat just about. Oh, oh well, I'm only really going in the <laughs> bloody water. Don't fall in now. Do not fall in now. This area is the gateway to the southern parts of the Great Barrier Reef and a little weather window has opened up and we have to take advantage of it. Plenty of species on our list that we can catch here, but one in particular. They're big, they're red, they're tasty. Coral trout. And I reckon we might bang a few on the way. Oh, 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 he's on it. Got him. Well done. That's all we're after. Some pretty handy little trout baits in that. Oh, there he is. Got him? Yep. Oh, that's a fatter one. That's a bit better, Mac Good job. That's uh, plenty of coral trout baits in that one. It's exactly what we wanted. But now I reckon we head back to that little patch of ground. Get the jigs out. Get see if we can jig something else up. See what else comes from the depths. Yep, thick. Yep. Yep. Yeah, nice. Judging by the sounding, I think you might have a trevally. Yeah, I don't know that one's going to be a tuna. Have a look how many are under the boat. You see them all? Oh, it just looks impressive on the sounder, mate. I don't have to. <laughs> it looks better. Comes up me. to eight metres. Oh, no, I just pulled the hook on him. Oh. I was literally going to. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> now you've got to start all over again. Yeah, I, I thought I finally got that tied. I was about to say. Probably should up the gear because he's got a bit of weight in these fish. And the light gear is good fun, but oh, see if we can't get the triple. I reckon we go back with heavier gear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you yeah, have to do it to yourself, do you? <laughs> I did. I think we've got a. This feels like a bit better fish, too. Yeah, you've probably got the biggest one a lot now. It's interested. Let's see if I can get it up. So what lesson have we learned from that? Oh, Let's go heavier. After you hook up three of them, you've worn really fast to um, try and get away from them. Well, Nico's been doing all of that. I've uh, quietly got out the jigging rods and some heavier gear. And we're gonna go and have a proper go at these fish. Are you ready? Is the race to the bottom or the race to the I top? I don't think you need to go to the bottom. I can <laughs> see them from here. Let's do Righto. it. I might pull up halfway and just see how we go. There it is. Oh, missed him. There he is. Got him that time. Oh, here they come, here they come. Here they come. Oh. Got him? Yep, down the bottom. Now the fun, Nige. No, you're good. Now you got him. Bludger time. Bludger! Mate, sounder didn't lie. It looked like Trevally Heaven down there, and so good there's different species on them. There's quite a few down there, and it didn't take long to. Um, connected it. <laughs> Little GT, which funnily enough, is actually on our list of species to catch. I reckon we can go bigger than this, but- I think so. But it's a start. We've got uh, we've got one species. And uh, this one here I might keep for a bit more trout bait. If that's a bit more strip bait. Happy with you, Nod? Do, do fine, mate, because you know what? I don't reckon it's going back in a hurry anyway. No. But uh, this guy, I'm going to actually drive the bait away. I'm going to drop him. Yep. And hopefully get this one past the sharks, because I reckon this will be a 30, 40 keger one day. It won't be long before he is. Right, so go and uh, get, him, get him back, and we'll have one more shot, what do you reckon? Sounds good. This is it, we've raced the tide. We're in reef country now, 25, 30 metres of water. And the hunt is on for Mr. Coral Trout or Mrs. Coral Trout, we're not that fussy. We'll take them either. All right, now we just clue into that sounder. We're really just looking for ledge country, a bit of bait, if we can see some fish sounding. It's starting to look good here. We're gonna put the electric into gear, up the front, pin us, and then mixture of baits and lures. And that's looking really good, Nige. I'm liking it. That ledge, bait, Perfect. fish, we're here. Right up. Nico and I don't believe in making it more complex than it has to be. Our rig is very simple. It's either one sink, in this case I've got two, a little bit more noise. Runs down, 7 0 hook, one knot, nice and simple, 80 pound leader. We're using just strips of fish that we've caught today. And we rig them up, pull the hook through the top of the bait, right the way through. Basically twist it through, pull that eye through, and then rig that hook into the lower section of the bait, pull it through so you've got gape, presents nicely in the water, drop that one down to the reef, and hold on, because if they're on the chew, it won't be long for that gets chomped. Here we go, here we go. That's, yep. better. That's a better one. 
What is it? I don't know. What do you got there? Looks trouty to me. There's a little rat. Oh, it's a trout. No, it's a good trout. Good trout. Good trout. <laughs> yes, Nico. <laughs> We just love chasing these just because of their brutal power. The places they live, it's one of the most beautiful parts on the planet to fish. And if uh, you manage to find some, it's a tide turn at the moment, so they're a little bit active, which is why we're going to hurry up and get another bait in. If you get it at the right time, the right place, you're going to catch some of these. Haven't you? a bit better fish too. Better fish? Yep. I like to see there's a red one. It's got a weird sort of tail beat about it. Yeah. There's a beauty of fishing out here in the reef, you can't just don't know. That's a nice trout, like Nigel. Is it? Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm getting bites. I'm getting big bites. I've got a good one here, I reckon. Oh, I got a red throat. That was a big trout. Oh. Did you get him? Jeez, they fight hard, these things. Oh. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, it's a big spank. Ah, uh, red throat. Red throat. Well, that's a good little... The emperor. Another tick, because that is the emperor species. They're on the list. Right. How go. good? How good is that, Nige? Would you find a prettier pair on the reef? I hope you're talking about the fish. Well, I'd have to be talking <laughs> about the fish. I guess to the lesson there that we're always mixing and matching. You know, Nico is never idle when he fishes. You know, he's got two rods going there. He's got baits going. He's got vibes going. And sometimes you'll find on different days. Lures will win, and other days the baits will win, and who knows why, it's to do with current, all sorts of things, but just mixing it up sometimes gives you some variety, doesn't it? It even changes throughout the day too, Nige. You know, you start the day off, baits are working, nothing's happening, the bite changes, the lures turn on. You just gotta keep both in the water. Keeps your chances of catching one of these crackers. The mixed approach of lures and baits is definitely working, with a variety of fish coming aboard, and plenty of laughs for Nico and I. But with options at more Salty Scrolls fish out here, we keep working to see what else we can catch. That's a better one. Ice. That's definitely going to be on. Hey? I think this one's the right species, Nige. Trout? I'd say so. As red trout will fool you occasionally, but if it's going dead weight now, you'll probably trout it. I think he's trouty, mate. That's a chunk. Oh, that's a chunk, all right. Oh, thanks for that. I think I just ate half of your bait. And that. Is what we come all the way out here for. Little break in the weather, Nige. You gotta take advantage of it, change the plans. It was too good to pass up, and that's the reason why. Do you reckon we're taking advantage? <laughs> oh, definitely. I think yeah. we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're in. In them? Yep, you're in them. You're in them. You're on the bottom and it's thick with them. And there is the bite. Load him up, load him up. That's the hustle bite. Ooh, we hit that one. I saw that. You got him? Yep. Trout. That's a trout. <laughs> Just, oh, oh, you ripped he, it out of your hand. He got me a bit off my guard. <laughs> I was sort of like, oh, relax a little here. Uh, I'd help you, but I'm struggling. Oh, man. Far out they go hard, these things. You trouted? I'm trouted. And I'd say, Nige, that's another cracker. Oh. I'll get mine in, and you uh, oh. worry about yours. I'd say it uh, feels red throaty, this one. Feels red throaty? One reason we love this style of fishing, it's just brutal. There's no drags. It's all just hand-to-hand -hand combat. Just trying to get these things in. Look at these. Far out, these things pull. Another crack at red throat, Norge. Wow. That's outstanding. That's it's good. That's a good much better. You know, it's a good session when you bring a few rods and it comes down to one rod each, and, and that's basically, it's, that's it. It scares me that I've got one on my shoulder in the water still. And it's going now, too. <laughs> it's going yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there he is. Ooh. Is that a good bite too? Trouty. That's a good, good fish. Uh oh. Shark. I don't know. Maybe. Ugh. There's lots of puffing going on down there. You good? Good. Want the motor up? Nah. Sure. Yep. You winning? Yep. What is it? No, no. It's got a long way down. The water's too clear. <laughs> what a big Trevor. Seriously? Yeah. Jeet. what it is. Big Jeet. Big Jeet. Or is it an amberjack? It's an amberjack. Oh, it is too. Wow. That's still cool. I've not seen one of those out here before. That's cool. 
Whoa, it is. I'm glad you caught it too. That's what's cooler. There he is. He's a good fish. Not what I was expecting to come up here, to be perfectly honest. Nah. Close cousin of the kingfish. And they fight just as hard as a kingy. He's a nice. solid little fish. There's a bit of weight in him for, yeah. for his size. They're just balls of muscle. Aren't they strong? Yes. Maybe we're mixing up with lures and baits. I've got a very simple rig ball sinker, just a 7 0 hook, one knot. It's all 80 pound braid, 80 pound leader. It's heavy stuff, there's no drag on this reel. And all we're doing is drifting it down to the reef. Pretty much choose your sinker weight dependent on just getting to the bottom. You don't want it floating behind the boat. As it gets down there, run it between thumb and forefinger. You'll, you'll often feel just as it gets close to the reef, sometimes fish will pick it up and run that line out quickly. Just, that means you've got to engage and strike otherwise the moment you feel that line relax on the on the bottom click her over line tight wait for that bite and it's all about waiting for the load of the rod just wait for that fish to slowly pull it down before you strike all those initial rat -a tat tats that sort of stuff you don't want to strike at that you want to wait for proper load proper weight pulling that rod tip down and then hold on here we go we're getting a bite right now Get up, get up, get up. Oh, jeez. Good one? Yep. Uh, uh, bit like a trout. Trout? Yeah, come on. Oh. Oh. What oh. You get him? I got him. Oh, I thought you lost him. No, no, I'm just puffed, mate. I'm absolutely stuffed. There's some big sharks floating around here. And when you hook these fish, they absolutely brutalise you. It's the first, first few metres that you've got to win. If uh, you lose a trout, it's generally right in that first run. And if you've got drag on that reel, if it can pull on off your reel, that's where you lose them. That's why we're locked up dragged. We've got serious reels, 80 pound braid, 80 pound leader. And when they bite, you've just got to hold on and then you've got to race sharks. So it's, uh, it's not a relaxing affair, but what a gorgeous fish. You've got to love the trout. Isn't that just one of the most fearsome predators of the reef, those big canine teeth. And they're just used to sitting in there, beautifully camouflaged, even though you, that, that red here, they're dark down there with blue spots, so they blend in with the coral. Any bit of bait that comes past, look out, it's dead. Oh, there, yeah, yeah, jumping. Oh, there's a wahoo right there, look. Free swimming right there. Yeah. Just get a lure, get a lure out, gives one, either one of those ones there, bud. I'll just cast at it. Oh, he come up, he's right there, look at that. Come for a look. Yep, he come for a look. Good. It's right below us. There's tons of bait here too. See him just there? Yep. Do you want me to try and bury him or something? I sort of want to get away from the boat a bit of anything. So I say, if you just drive forward. You want me to? Yeah. Okay. No, that's right, that's good, that's good, that's where I want him. He's just got to kick up forward. I'll semi, I'll just semi troll this. Maybe just pull up there. I thought he might have just switched. You know, like yeah, just come yeah. up with that boat. So he followed that lure in on that. There he is, got him. Yep. Nice. All right. Legging up. <laughs> That's it. Wahoo! He's right, just coming towards us. I think. I lost him. Oh, I lost him. No. Oh, goosebumps. I talked him into it. I'll tell you what, I'll, give you, I'll still give you a high five because you worked very, very hard to tease that thing up and get it to eat. And it was on its own, which is not always that easy because there's no competition. I don't know how I pulled the hooks. I came at you. I know he came at me. But... I just had the, I was running to get the electric. I know what you're doing. It, and I could see the line hissing on it the It was going the right way. I thought, we got this. This is good. This is good. You know what I was thinking? It's a fish on that list. This could be good. I had a little deja vu because it was the same lure That's last year, doing a very similar thing. Same outfit, trolling, and uh, 25 kilo who last time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that one wouldn't have been far off it. That was a good fish. Uh, anyway. There's one, there's... I'm gonna five, keep this one. just... Just handy. Pretty handy, I think, for a bit. That was exciting, nevertheless. Uh, oh, that was such a cool bite. <laughs> Oh, that's what we do with full drag. It's full drag. It's 
that bad, bad, or good? Uh, be a shark, I reckon. <laughs> Feel like that, Nico? Probably fairly safely so. Sharky? Yeah. Oh, hey, look at the shark here. Oh, look at the shark here. Look at this. That was the width of its head. That was a big tiger. We've got the whole ecosystem happening here at the moment. Bait fish, predatory fish, wahoo, tiger sharks. It's all happening. I wish it was happening on your rod right now, Nico, not mine. <laughs> Coming around, eh? Yeah, I think I'll have to. Sorry, mate. You're right. I'm, I'm I'd like to try and control it, but swim around. Yeah, we're all right, mate. We're free. I'll get back into the fighting chair. Do you want to start backing up on it for you? <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. Shark. It's very sharky what shark. size is tiger shark? That's a big one. That's a big tiger. That'll eat you and I both, Nico. At the same time. Just keep going, Rick. That was a little bit too exciting for the afternoon, boy. <laughs> oh, I got my lure back. That's, Sorry, I got my bait back. That's the most important thing. I got rattled with that. That was crazy. <laughs> Good size shark. Well done. Thank you, mate. I'm just looking at how many sharks are in the water below us. Time to move. <laughs> I think it's time to move. The tiger's big enough to eat this boat just about. Oh, oh, well, I'm only really going in the bloody water. <laughs> Don't fall in now. Do not fall in now. Oh. Mate, it's uh, not target species. It's pretty, but not target species. I reckon that tide's just about done. It's definitely slowed down. I'm out of the water. What do you reckon? It's. Uh, not a bad way to end. It's always a good ending on a fish, mate. We've uh, come here, we've caught our coral trout, we've played with plenty of other critters. This one could be lucky it's going home because dinner's sorted. <laughs> it is sorted. You're ready to, uh, as beautiful as this weather is, I reckon the Norway's going to chase us, so it might be a good time to hit the key and start heading back home. Sounds good. You're lucky, mate. You're going back and here we're going home. Sounds good, Nodge. We believe we've justified the call to head offshore with several species now ticked from the list. The coral trout is one of our favourite fish and we're wrapped to have ticked it off the list so early in our adventures. The ones that got away, well, we can only hope we get another shot somewhere down the road. This region has helped us tick another few species from the Salty Scrolls, but we still have plenty of work to do, which means we will soon be back on the road with another species in mind and a new location to explore. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. You are doing the dishes. That's all right. All right. I was leaving for next time. Okay. <laughs> Our ginger chili beer battered flathead was easy to cook and delicious. If you want to see the full recipe, head to our Facebook page, AFN The Fishing Show.